Okay, hello. My name is Adrian. Welcome to the channel English with Adrian, helping you expand your vocabulary, increase your confidence, and speak like a native Englishman. Today, let's look at deciding and hedging in terms of arguments, in terms of discussions, in terms of how to present your opinions across in a debate. Hmm. So, discussion, discussions. Let's look at some phrases. I am not sure whether to have a Chinese lesson or not. I'm not sure, you know, Chinese lesson or not. Learn some Chinese. Maybe, maybe not. On one hand, on one hand, it'll be useful. On the other hand, it won't be useful. Hmm. So we use that phrase, on one hand, on the other hand, to talk about the pros aha, and cons ugh, of something. I want to learn Spanish. On one hand, it'll be really useful for traveling to Gibraltar, to Mexico, to Spain. On the other hand, you know, well, on the other hand, it's going to be a long, arduous journey, but it's totally doable. Although, al although, the more Chinese I learn, the better. Although, Spanish is a very useful language, and people all over the world, well, in the in Americas and in Spain, they speak it. Alternatively, 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 um, I could spend that time working on my videos and other projects. Ah, yeah. Alternatively, instead of Spanish, I could learn Portuguese, or I could just focus on my videos. Alternatively, I could do something else at that same time. Alternatively, I could just cheat, teach more English lessons and make more money. Maybe, maybe, but not necessary. Of course, there are going. Of course, there are going to be more important things than learning Chinese or Spanish. Of course, I should learn Chinese. It's very useful, very important. Of course, I should learn Spanish because it would be very valuable, a good asset to have in the future for business and um, uh, mini business and uh, living abroad. Yes. However, however, <gasps> however, I have 12 free hours. I might as well use them to learn Chinese. However, I've been learning Spanish this this so far, you know, for nearly two years, actually. Two years come May, May 2019, 2020, 2020, two years. I might as well keep going, keep mastering it. Ah, exactly. Despite, dis, despite, regardless, that I'm quite busy. I've got this video to record. I've got a list of other things. I've got a hotel to arrange. Oh. I'm busy. I'm busy. Despite the fact that I'm quite busy at the moment. Yeah. So some phrases there we can use when deciding or hedging or arguing or debating or thinking, pondering. On one hand, on the other. Yeah. But hedging, hedging is when you add words and phrases to the sentence to change its meaning and make it less definite, direct or strong. So you add something just as a buffer to cushion what you're talking about. So rather than saying they want to learn languages, they want that's what they want, we'd say people suggest that people suggest we should teach them more languages. Pe people suggest we should teach them English. Yeah. Indicate people indicate that learning English is useful. We should teach them it. There's some studies, there's some indication that they should be learning English. It's what they really need. Definitely. It's indicated. It is arguably, it's arguably a good idea to do that. Yeah. It is arguably, hmm. It is arguably a useful language to learn English. It is potentially, it is potentially, has has the potential, it's here and it could be all the way up to here, has the potential to change their lives. Learning English has the potential to be, uh, 
game changer. It could change their lives. Whoops. It could change their lives. To a certain degree, however, to a certain degree, people, to a certain degree, hmm, hmm, people feel that Chinese is hard to learn. To a certain degree, to a certain degree, not everyone needs to learn Spanish. To some extent, to some extent, it's important to learn more languages. To some extent, you want to learn languages, but you don't want to spend too much of your time just learning. You want to apply it. To some extent, you can learn Spanish by going to Spain, living in Spain. Oh, a sink or swim moment that'll be. To some extent, you can learn Chinese by living in China. <gasps> exactly. Yeah. Seem and appear are words at a dist to distance yourself from a statement. Distance yourself. This is useful when you are not certain what you are saying is true. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Hmm. This book appears. This this book appears correct, but I'm not so sure actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, it appears correct. It seems to be correct. It seems to be accurate. I I don't know it. Seems to be. This uh, this address seems to be right. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. It appears to be correct. It looks that way. It seems to be okay. I don't know, don't know what the issue is. Visually appears, but seems like you could say appear is how something looks. How it looks. I mean, like looks okay. It appears to be spelt correctly. It appears that way. And seems could be like, I don't understand. What's, prob what's the problem here? It looks okay, spelt okay, the thing's okay. Why is it not working? What's wrong? It appears to be spelt correctly. It appears to have all the information. But it seems to just not work. I don't understand why. It's just very strange, very strange. Yeah. It seems, it seems to be in English. Yeah, it seems to be working. It seems to be working. We don't so don't know how. Don't know why. It appears. To, oh, it, oh, it appears to be broken. Yeah. It appears to be <laughs> torn. Yeah. It would seem. It would seem that he doesn't know what he's doing. Hmm. It would seem to be broken. It would appear that I have a lot of tasks to do on the weekend. Definitely to do this weekend. It would it would appear I've got loads of tasks. It would appear that I'm busy. It would seem that I'm busy and focusing on my own things. Yeah. It would seem I only have two more videos to record after this, and then I have other things to do. Very important. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Seem and appear to a certain degree, to a certain extent. Arguably, potentially, potentially. People suggest, indicate, yeah. despite, however, of course, alternatively, although, on the other hand, on one hand. Yeah. So some nice phrases we can use when deciding, hedging and arguing. How cool is that? But, if you want to keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, and speak like a native Englishman, then hit the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, bye for now.